West Lawn's Rated Coaches Show brought to you in part by Dr. Jackson Fordham, DMD. Call for an appointment today. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, out to West Lawrence High School. We're here with head coach Kagan McLean. We're going to talk about some football this week. And, uh, you know, coach, many people say you, you learn a lot more when you lose than, than when you win. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's a tough athlete, a tough coach, a tough person, minded person that'll say that. Right, right. Uh, but we learned a lot this past week, I guess. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, you'd like to say everybody's going to go 15 and 0 and win every game. Uh, you know, we played a good football team uh, yeah. with, a, with a good athlete who made two huge plays that really uh, put the game away for them. Uh, you know, so I think we did learn a lot about us. And if you're going to lose games uh, by making mistakes or not playing well, do them early. You know, get that out of your way before you get to the region play and, uh, and the ones that count, you know, you know start kicking in. Uh, but, yeah, we didn't play particularly well Friday. Uh, you know, for, defensively, I thought we did really well for about 40 plays. They had about a, a little over 100 yards total offense. And then for two plays, they had another 100 plus yards of total offense. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, those two big runs by that kid at quarterback really got us. You know, both times we had defenders there that could have made a play, uh, but he just out athleted us in space a little bit. And, and, you know, all you can do is tip your hat to him and say, hey, great play, kid, and, uh, and move on. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, Coach, you called it. You know, when you were talking to a, a prior week, you said, we got to keep him inside. If we can right. keep him inside, you know, our three linemen, they're not going to run right at us. And right. By and large, they didn't run right at us. They may have had a, a no. few decent runs, okay right. runs, you know, seven, eight yards. I don't think they got a, uh, too many first downs coming straight at us. You no, know, I think uh, when we went back and, and broke it down and, and did the the, uh, the film and stuff, I think they had maybe, I think it was right at 35 rushing attempts maybe, mm -hmm. and, uh, and only like six or seven of those were for more than five yards, you know, so – you know, it's one of those teams where you got a great athlete and you play great for 40 plays, and then for four plays you don't play great, and they make you pay. And unfortunately, they didn't make us pay on those. Yeah, yeah. And so you find some things that you really need to work on. You find teaching moments for kids when you go in and, and you look at film. You know, I don't know how many graded out where you would close to be where it would be acceptable for you percentage wise on defense and mm -hmm. and how many didn't grade out so well what, what could you say on that yeah I mean I, I like I said I really think overall defensively we pr played really well all but for a handful of plays um, you know so you don't want to you know throw the baby out with the bathwater and so we well, played bad on three plays you stunk it up on defense and, yeah. and I, when I watched film of our guys I man I saw a lot of really good things I mean we were playing tough inside we were physical mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, pass defense was good for the most part all night uh, you know, we really did a good job of containing their run other than those plays. And when they got those opportunities, they just really made us pay for it with points on the board. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's what hurt. You know, if we'd have, uh, you know, like hindsight always being 20 20, you look back and say, man, if we could have just tackled them on those two runs, we're looking at giving up seven points on the night defensively. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I mean, again, that's just uh, hindsight being 20 20. You got to just learn from those mistakes and break down and make those open field tackles and, and do the best you can, swarm to the football and hope you can get them on the ground on those big runs. Uh, but he had two big long touchdown runs that really uh, uh, put the game away for them. Yeah, incredible athlete he really was, uh, you know, head and shoulders above. But, you know, in looking at a coach and, and when you see a, a player that has a breakdown that, that doesn't make a play that he should, it may not be a breakdown at all, he just may get beat. A, a, a true player is hard enough on themselves. Oh yeah. And yeah. looking at that, they know exactly what happened. They know they got beat, and mm -hmm. and going forward, you know, they try not to let that happen again. They try to adjust. You try to get them to. Right. To, you try to help them adjust to to where they need to be on that. Because sometimes you get out, man. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you. And sometimes you just get outplayed, you know. And I don't want to take anything away from Dodge or from that quarterback yeah. or anything. They they just outplayed us on Friday night. Yeah. Uh, they went, you know, neither. Uh, offense did a whole lot most of the night, but they had a couple big plays that, that were able to – they were capitalized, put points on the board, and, uh, and we didn't have those big plays on offense. We had a hard time protecting the quarterback. Uh, A.J. was scrambling way too much. Our pass protection wasn't very good. Uh, weren't able to get much run game going inside, and we dropped 11 passes. I mean, you drop 11 passes, you're not going to beat anybody, you know. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, you know, there's, there's things we got to learn from, things we got to do better uh, for sure. Uh, again, they capitalized on big plays, and we didn't. And that was really the difference in the ball game. You know, late in the fourth, it's 16 to 10. If we can get a stop and get the ball back, you know, maybe we got a chance. But, I mean, ultimately, if we 
uh, make plays like they made plays, and maybe yeah. we're not in a 16 to 10 game late. Right. Um, but you know, we didn't, and they did. And you tip your hat to that team sure. and that coach and staff and those guys and say, "Hey, yeah. good job, man." Yeah, and coach, you go back to you know, and, and you encourage them this week going forward. Players make plays. You players have to make plays. Right. You got to have them, and and so like you say, it's, it's better to have it happen early in the season than yeah. later. Absolutely. But look, let's look on the offensive side of the ball. You say we we had uh, 11 drops. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that that was tough. I mean, if you get about half of those back, it's it's a, a different game. But when you look at the offensive line, and again, seniors, juniors, but still not not any experience really. I right. think one of them, two of them, had experience last. You know, the rest of the guys, they hadn't faced anybody that quick. They hadn't right. faced anybody with that size and that quickness, that athleticism coming around or coming right at you. So you get better when you face better teams and. Again, we mentioned it earlier in the year. All you want to do is proven with you, coaches. Get ready for region. Nothing right. else matters. It, it, you know, you like to go 15. You like to go 10. You like to go eight. Whatever. Right. And, right. But it, it, that's not always the case. And what matters is what matters. Yeah, what matters is us getting ourselves right and getting ourselves cleaned up and and finding out who we are as a team and be peaking when that region play rolls around. You don't want to peak in week two and, and then burn out when that region play gets there. Yeah. So, so hopefully, uh, you know, we continue to get better. Uh, we, we fix all these mistakes we're making, uh, drops, uh, missed assignments on the offensive line, uh, not tackling open field one-on-one -on -one like we need to, yeah. uh, get all that cleaned up. And by the time we get to region play, hopefully we're clicking on all cylinders for the games that, that really matter. Yeah. And, and luckily for us in a – in a six-team region, I mean, you've got some games to do that. You know, there's a lot of teams that play those, have those eight and nine-team regions where, you know, every week is, is, it matters in this region play for them. Yeah. And, and, you know, we're fortunate that we do get to play those five non-region games where we can uh, get the kinks out. You know, we can play some really good teams. Crisp, a really good team. Yeah. Dodge, a good team. You know, Statesboro will be coming in in a few weeks. So, you know, we've got some, uh, some teams on our schedule that hopefully – will help us get ready for the good teams in our region because our region is very, very good this year. Yeah, yes, it is. And and so, you know, you look at that coach and you look at uh, what you do for the kids to, to try to prepare them for the next week. And, of course, you always put together great film. You you, you do a good job of that. And we're going to have it for you in just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but I do want to say that so many people in the community realize that the coaching uh, was just very good. Friday night. Well, <laughs> Again, the, the calls were. Well, I hope they were. I don't know. You know, I mean, uh, sometimes, you know, I've learned this, as, especially as a coordinator, and I've been a defensive coordinator most of my career, is uh, sometimes I'll make a really good call and, uh, and it'll work, and sometimes I'll make a really good call and it won't. <laughs> Yeah. And sometimes I'll make a really bad call and get lucky, and then they didn't take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they do. You know, I really felt like on both sides of the ball Friday, I didn't think that, you know, watching film, I didn't think that we were making bad calls on offense. I didn't right. think that uh, defensively. I know one one big run the quarterback had, uh, you know, we, we had a check that we'd put in in the game uh, to adjust for something they were doing Friday night. Yeah. Uh, four times in a row we made the perfect check, and we stopped him. And then the fifth time we didn't make the check and he busts it for a big run. So, you know, um, maybe, maybe you could put that one on me and say, hey, I should have saw that we didn't make the check and call timeout or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll take the blame on that one maybe. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. Yeah. But we really, the hours we put in on film and the hours we put in meeting and, and we meet with our kids and we, we watch a ton of film, and uh, we try our best, you know, to get them in positions to make plays. Because really coaching comes down to two things. I got to come up with a plan to get you in position to make a play. And then I got to give you the reps at practice so you get good at making that play. If you do those two things, you're going to be successful. Uh, you know, if you get a great game plan, but you don't give them reps, uh, so what if they're in position they can't make a tackle? You yeah. know, they didn't have enough reps of that. Mm -hmm. Or if you spend all your time working on making the play, but you get them in the wrong position, you're going to get burnt that way too. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really a twofold thing. And I, and I felt like on both sides of the ball Friday, I think we did some good things. So sometimes, you know, when you deal with, with 15, 16, 17-year-old kids, sometimes they just make mistakes, you know. Sure. And that's not putting it on them. That's just part of being a kid. Heck, I'm 40 years old. I make mistakes right. every day, you know. Right. So, uh, so you know, you take those kids, they make mistakes, you coach them hard, mm -hmm. you show them what they did wrong, you say, hey, learn from it, don't make the mistake again. When you start making those same mistakes over and over and over, and then we got an issue because you're just not being very coachable. Or you don't have the talent level we need for you to be on the field. So, you know, but our, our kids, that, those kids that drop those balls, man, those are kids that catch them every day in practice. Right. They're good kids, they're the best we got. We believe in them, we love them. And uh, we're just gonna make them better. And, and hopefully next week, it'll be a better uh, outcome than it was yeah. this past week. Yeah, they will catch it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take a short break. We got some great film for you from the coach. So you stay tuned. Fairview Fitness Center, open 24 seven with staffed hours available every day. 
Fairview Fitness Center, serving our community for over 30 years. Push your fitness further with our gym facilities, fitness classes, freestyle areas, and more. Join today and see the benefits of a healthy life. All new members are provided with a complete health assessment upon request, and new members are provided with a fitness orientation to familiarize themselves with exercise equipment, all by one of our staff exercise physiologists. For more information, call 353-1900. Visit us at 200 Industrial Boulevard behind Fairview Hospital or log on to fairviewfitness.com. Every team has a leader, and Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking is Farmers State Bank, proudly supporting local high school football. Farmers State Bank salutes those who make our community great by working hard to make Friday night football happen. Best wishes for the 2018 football season. Go Irish. Go Falcons. Go Crusaders. Go Raiders. And count on the team at Farmers State Bank, Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The City of Dublin's Natural Gas Department is offering a $1,000 rebate on the purchase of a natural gas, stove, furnace and tank or tankless water heater for new construction homes or if you're remodeling your home. Individual rebates include natural gas tankless, up to $400 rebate and free gas service installation, natural gas tank, free 40 gallon or $200 rebate on other sizes, free gas service installation, natural gas furnace, $200 rebate, natural gas stove, $100 rebate, natural gas dryer, $100 rebate, natural gas grill, $100 rebate, natural gas logs, $100 rebate, maximum yearly rebate, no maximum. Save now, save later. Call the City of Dublin Natural Gas at 277-5048. Yeah, we're going to watch a few highlights. Uh, first series here defensively, we got a second and five. Great fit by our linebackers inside on the zone. A lot of white hats around the ball, good swarming. And uh, pretty much on the runs between the tackles, we were great all night long. They didn't get many uh, yards at all on, on, on anything inside. And I thought that was a good testament for our kids. Here you see the quarterback trying to run a little counter. We hem him up. We keep him inside. He's forced to dive forward, coming up short, making it a fourth down. You know, those are the things that we worked on all week doing. And, and we did a good job all but about twice, you know. And, and those two times we didn't do a good job, uh, the kid absolutely made us pay. And he's just a great athlete and a great football player. Uh, here, uh, obviously, a missed opportunity. We got a nice throw and, and, a, and an easy catch there. If we make a great throw, uh, you know, we may split the safeties here and get a big gain. It's a good play call. Everything's wide open, and we just miss them. You know, and that was kind of the way the night went for us. And and ultimately, you know, that's on us. We got to we got to get better at that. You know. Uh, here you see a, a good throw and catch here, I believe. Or no, this is AJ on a scramble. Uh, everything's covered. We got third and long. Uh, great job here by AJ seeing that. Hey, there's nothing there. Sees a hole, steps up, and, uh, and is able to run and get the sideline and pick up a first down for us. And sometimes, you know, that's the way you got to move the football. You know, just take what they give you. Here, uh, starting a drive at our own 31-yard line. We had, uh, didn't do a good job special teams-wise early. We shanked a punt, and they got first and, and 10, starting out our 31. Good job defensively there, stuffing it inside. Daniel Lindo uh, getting in there on the tackle. Uh, you never want to start a drive deep in your territory like this, but our defense did a great job of really uh, bowing up. Here they try to run the sweep, and Derek Jackson comes in and wraps them up. Uh, and then you see the White Hats just swarming to the ball. Uh, you know, we get a little late face mask call there where our hand touched it and let it go, and luckily they only got us for five yards on that, but, you know, they got us nonetheless. Uh, and then it sets up second in, in about three, and a great job here against the little option run, uh, sticking it inside, uh, Lindo grabbing and hanging on, and, uh, and everybody getting there and cleaning up. And that's really what we preached all week is, look, they got some athletes, they got some speed. First man, grab on, hang on, and uh, let's let the cavalry come. And again, we held them to uh, two yards on that, or uh, six yards on that drive, and they're kicking a field goal, and, and, and they pushed it to the right, and a good stop for the defense. You know, any, that was inside the 40. Oh, yeah, 31's where they started to drive. So we'll, we'll take that stop, a uh, field goal attempt there any day. Then you look here, next series, they start again, this time on our 36, because we shank another punt. A uh, good job on first down there, J.D. Jones getting inside in the B gap and, uh, and making a nice tackle inside for a short gain. And uh, we ended up stopping them that drive as well. Uh, so a couple big stands early defensively uh, while our offense was, was getting it going. And, uh, and we needed that, you know. 
you know, here uh, back on the offense, you see a, a nice little throw and catch. Now, this is the same deal we had earlier. This time we caught it and ended up picking up 30, 40 yards, you know. And, and again, if we don't drop some of those balls, we may could have been doing this all night. But it was a great throw there by AJ and a great catch by Brent Carr uh, out on the edge for us. You know, up around midfield again, got a first down, uh, another nice little throw, and uh, and, and uh, and a catch there by Bradley Wilson, I believe. Yeah, number five. Uh, again, same deal we had earlier. Guy open, just make, take what the defense gives you and, and make that play, and he did a great job there. Uh, back to defense as the, the drive stalls out. Uh, good job here. Well, quarterback scrambles. We hem him in. We make a nice tackle on the edge, and he gets two yards. You know, those are the kind of things you can live with as a, as a coordinator and as a defense with an athlete like that. Uh, you just got to do it every play with that kid, you know, because he is – he's got a lot of ability. Uh, here we got third and a yard. Great job here. Quarterback tries to run it. We just come in and mud up the middle and uh, and stop him short. You know, big play right there. Uh, anytime you can get him to punt. And I, like I said earlier when we were talking, you know, they only had four first downs all night. Well, the problem is they had two big touchdown runs which really uh, sealed the game for them. Uh, but I thought, you know, you hold a team to four first downs, and we had 14 uh, four first downs. We just couldn't put it in the end zone. So, you know, hats off to Dodge. Good tough run here, pinned down deep by uh, Dorian Edmond. He didn't get a ton of carries because of what they were giving us defensively. They were really stacking the box uh, in there for the run. But when he did, he ran the ball hard. Uh, here they're starting to drive at our 50 again, not what you want. And here's one of those big plays where he gets outside, and we got a couple guys there. And uh, he just splits them and makes a huge run, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do other than, you know, you look up top, they crack on our outside linebacker. We got a safety and a linebacker there. All we got to do, make it. We got three guys around him. You know, we just got to make a play, and uh, and we don't. And he's just uh, hats off to him. Great athlete, makes a great run, and uh, and gets a 50-yard touchdown run. You know, for the first score, uh, first points we've given up on defense this year. You know, and we knew it would happen. I mean, you know, we weren't going to shut everybody out. Uh, come back again. Uh, Pass goes here. Great play by EJ Holmes, midpoint in the two vertical routes. We got caught in cover three there. Uh, they run the f three verts up top, and EJ knows he's got a midpoint those first two outside. And he does a great job coming off his man, playing the ball, and, uh, and breaking it up. Uh, here again, little inside run. Great job, Daniel Lindo, Spencer Dacus in there, clogging the middle. You know, if we can keep teams between the tackles, I feel pretty good about our chances. I think we got a good D line. Uh, I think we got two pretty good linebackers in there. Uh, we just got to contain those athletes and, and, and keep them inside. Here back on the offensive side, nice little throw and catch for a you know, seven, eight yard gain there. Uh, and those are the type of things we know we got to do to move the sticks. Uh, you know, we're not an explosive offense. I wish we had a number two like they've got, you know, that could, that could take it to the house anytime. Uh, you know, we just don't. And so we got to move the chains. Here they run quarterback draw. We do a great job of fitting them up and putting a hit on them. Uh, you know, there's a couple times that we hit him pretty good and he had to come out of the game. Uh, but credit to that kid, he came back both times after a few plays and got right back in there and, uh, and won the ball game for his team. And that's just a tough kid, you know, I give him credit for that. Yeah. Uh, here again, nice little uh, defensive stand. Uh, our corners did a great job of really inserting on that nub side all night on those C-gap runs and, uh, and really keeping them from really getting anything there. Good job there, Shante Burney, uh, coming in from the corner position and getting a nice tackle. Uh, again, same thing. Good job, Daniel Dorsey, coming up from a safety spot, fitting in there. Uh, missed tackle there by DeEric. Uh, Try to grab him up too high. You know, got to get in those those thighs and wrap and roll. Uh, but, you know, sometimes that happens. But good job fitting, good job filling. Uh, we got to clean up the tackling there a little bit. Uh, great. There's an excellent example of a tackle there by Shante Burney. This is this is how we teach it with those DBs. You know, we say, look, you come up, you feel, you break down, you get in those legs, and you wrap up and roll. No matter how fast you are, nobody runs fast without legs. So Bernie comes up, breaks down, grabs him, gets him on the ground for a tackle for a loss. And that's a great job by Shante, who played really well Friday night for us. Right here, you're going to see a big run by the quarterback here. Again, same situation before. They run a little boot. We got three guys out there. He gets outside of us. And once he's outside, he's just gone, you know. Completely different level of uh, speed there. And that's us. We got to keep him inside. But you'll see when he comes up, we got three guys. All three right there, and they all get caught peeking inside rather than doing their responsibility of a crack block fill outside and swarm to the ball. When you got three guys inside and one guy cracking, I mean, he's got the edge on you. And, and again, that was a, a mental bust by us on defense. Uh, we had two of those, and both of them led to touchdowns. You know, if we fit up like we work all week, I, you know, at least we got a chance to make the tackle. And uh, we just didn't fit up well those two plays. Again, great job there defensively coming up, stuffing a run. Uh, you know, inside run game, you know, they may have had. 50 yards inside the tackles running the football, if that, uh, and for a team that wants to run the football. So I felt pretty good about that. Uh, you know, we just got to do a better job 
of, a, of that perimeter run game. And, and we did a good job the second half with some of our checks uh, in that, except for the one that we busted, you know. Another good job making a C-gap tackle by the corner in certain. Offensively, we get a break. We get a, a great kickoff return at one point uh, by Daniel Dorsey. And then we step up, and, uh, you know, A.J. scrambles right here, uh, picks up good yardage and smartly dips out of bounds before taking a hit. And then we come back and we uh, hit Bradley Wilson here. A good play call by our offensive staff. We motion out, corner bites on it, and then the tight end's wide open on a corner route behind him for an easy throw and catch. And now suddenly we're back in the game, you know. Uh, and we haven't played well, you know, for the most part, especially on the, the offensive line. Didn't play well. Uh, here again, inside run, good job fitting, getting in the legs, getting them on the ground. Really, uh, they had no nowhere to run the ball inside. And, and I felt good about that. You know, if they were just gashing us up the gut all night long, you know, I'd probably be pretty worried. But, you know, after watching film, I think our kids did a decent job. Another C-gap run, uh, corner fits up, get them on the ground, you know, two-yard gain, you know. You're not going to make a living with two yard gains. You know, those are things we got to, we know on defense, that's what we got to do. Uh, Lindo does a good job there of, of really driving the offensive tackle back and uh, muddying things up. Here again, you get a little sprint out. Now, here's a good, we contain the quarterback, get a hit on him, force him to throw the ball off balance. We got good coverage downfield. Uh, you know, that's what we worked on all week uh, one outside, two inside containing, and they did a great job with it. As you'll see, Derek Jackson coming up and uh, smartly pulling up and not. Uh, getting a rough in the quarterback call there. You know, offense is, is pinned deep. You know, we didn't do a good job in the special teams game, field position wise. Good little throw and catch here, dump it out to Dorian Evan, makes a nice little move on the outside, picks up yards, and, and gets us out of the hole. That play looks a lot better this year. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, hopefully we've had plenty of time to practice it. <laughs> uh, again, a little throw and catch to Brent Carr. I mean, they're giving us a little hitch routes and the slants to the one receiver side. And, uh, you know, problem is we dropped about eight of them, you know. We don't drop them. You know, maybe we pick up a few more first downs and, and maybe put some points on the board. But here again, we're driving offensively. Got a chance to get some points on the board. Uh, A.J. steps up, makes a nice little dump off there to Dorian, and, and he gets a nice pickup. But, of course, we get a holding call, uh, you know, back behind the play, which kills your drives right there. You know, you can't do that. Got to move your feet. Can't grab. And, and uh, you know, luckily we were able to get it back down and Coop's able to kick a field goal, make it a 16-10 to 10 ball game. You know, so here we are six points down having really not played good football and, and a chance, you know, to, uh, to get the ball back and, and maybe maybe tie it, win the game. Uh, you know, here uh, they get the ball on our side of the 50. The, the, uh, run inside, we stuff it pretty good there. Uh, just a few yard gain. Uh, they got a little push inside, but it wasn't bad. Uh, then they come up and they end up getting a big run, which I thought I'd put on there, but I didn't. Uh, they get a big run where, I mean, it looks like our defensive end's getting held. Uh, but, you know, some officials aren't perfect. They make mistakes like everybody, but credit the kid makes a nice run. Here, they, you know, bad break for us. They fumble the dang snap, yeah. bounces right to him, yeah. and he's able just to just up the gut it for one yard and, and pick up that, that score to put it away there at the end. You know, a two point conversion attempt. Uh, again, you, you know, never know uh, when that could come into play. Our kids did a good job of swarming, missed a couple early, but able to get him on the ground, keep him out for the conversion attempt. and. Still got a chance, you know, to come down and get some points late and uh, maybe try and get back into it. Uh, offense came out, did a good job, moved the football a little bit here at the end. Nice little throw to Shante Burney on the screen. Gets behind his blockers, picks up a first down, you know, moving the chains. You know, unfortunately, we stalled out down there. Uh, come back, still got a chance to get the ball back. A good job defensively swarming. Uh, get him a three and out right here, which was, which was big. That gets our offense back on the field. A quarterback tried another one of those big runs, and we did a good job of hemming him up this time. Uh, you know, he's faking the zone and just keeping it outside. Safety comes up and shows here in a minute. A good fit there on the C-gap again, uh, just a couple yards. But here he's going to third down, got to get a big stop, got to get the ball back to our offense. And uh, our kids do a great job. They make the check this time. We step up, hem him in, make him dance, get hats to the ball, and get him for a big tackle for a loss. You know, of course, that's how we drew it up all week. Uh, you know, we just weren't able to do it every play. You know, offense gets the ball back, uh, starts to drive it a little bit. Able to get down and have a chance to score again, uh, throwing it out. They don't account for the running back. He comes out, makes a nice little run, runs over a DB, picks up some yardage there. I like to see him put his shoulder down. Yeah, I like that. Be physical, and that's what we want. You know, we know we don't outrun a lot of people, so we got to learn to run over people. AJ, again, another good throw and catch right there. Brent Carr makes a guy miss, makes a move on the outside, picks up big yardage there, and gets us deep down in their territory. 
run another little tunnel screen right here. Good job uh, getting it in by, uh, I think that was McKinley Kemp that time, getting behind blockers, picking up yards. Uh, A.J. scrambles here, picks up some yards on the outside, uh, gets a little late hit to add on to it. You know, we end up getting it down and, and inside the 10-yard line, have a chance to score. Uh, Shante Bernie motions over, get a nice little uh, little out route here, and we just miss him. You know, wide open for a touchdown right there. All we got to do is uh, get the ball to him, and, and, you know, we got six points on the board and back in the game again. Uh, end up getting a fourth down, having to go inside the five on fourth down here in a minute, and uh, unable to could, – Convert it here, AJ. A little throwback, get a penalty right there. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask, why didn't you get a first down on that? It was a pass interference on fourth down. Yeah. Uh, in high school, it, it's, it's not an automatic first down on pass interference. Uh, the yardage has to dictate it. Since we're inside the uh, 10, it's just half the distance to the goal, and you got to do fourth down again. Thanks. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, honestly, I wasn't sure of either at first until they explained it to me. And, you know, we got four from that three yard line. We try a little power play, and we get stuffed down at the one to, to pretty much seal the game. And, uh, and end it. Well, Coach, we always appreciate you breaking down the film. Oh, yeah, you do sure. such a good job no problem, in, in no showing, you know, exactly what happens in the game. Because a lot of times you're watching the game, maybe you right. hear about the game, you're at the game, and you miss so much. But there's one thing I want to ask about, and that's that sure. safety. Yeah. Tell me about that play. Well, the rule is on that, it's, it's really a judgment call by the official. If he feels like the quarterback is trying to throw the ball away to avoid the sack, then he can rule it a safety. Um, you know, if there's a receiver in the area and he's trying to get it to a receiver, uh, then, then obviously it's not. Um, you know, when we looked at it on film, we thought that it looked like A.J. was trying to throw it to the out route, uh, but he was getting hit as he was throwing, so yeah. the ball kind of floated up into the stands. Mm -hmm. uh, the official told me on Friday, Coach, he just threw it in the stands, uh, which it does in live speed. That's probably exactly what it looked like. So, you know, definitely not blaming the official for that. Um, Again, it's a judgment it's call. It's a judgment call, and he made a judgment call. Now, you can't really argue a judgment call. He doesn't have right. the benefit of replay. Uh, I think, you know, when I look at it on replay, I'm like, yeah, he's trying to throw the out route. But, uh, you know, in live game speed, you wouldn't have been able to tell that. So, you know, I'm, I, went into, I didn't argue that too much because bottom line is if we protect the quarterback and he's not getting hit in the dang end zone, not we don't have that issue to begin with. So yeah. I put that on us, not on, not on them. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a short break, come back and talk about what you do during an off week and moving forward to what we're looking for. Stay tuned. A lot of people don't know that Nationwide Insurance is the largest farm insurer in the country. Is your irrigation or your equipment insured at actual cash value or is it insured at replacement cost? How will the actual cash value actually be determined? By market value, which you can buy a used piece of equipment on the market for, or at some formula your insurance company has come up with? Replacement cost, is it at what it would have been at the current model or the new model. Don't find out at the time of a claim. Call us and let us go through it with you to help make sure that you're insured getting the most value for your dollar. Are your barns, equipment sheds, other structures covered properly? Is your livestock? Is your chemical in storage? Are your fuel tanks, your nitrogen tanks? Are all these items covered? Have you ever been asked? That's what we do when we come to your farm because we're on your side. Nationwide and Walker Insurance is on your side. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. Portions of this program are brought to you by Curry Companies and Curry Residential, your Caldwell Banker, providing real estate services since 1902. A 
Coney Fall Line Technical College. Think differently about college. New student registration begins August 1st. All right, welcome you back out at West Lawrence High School here with Coach Kagan McLean. And, uh, you know, Coach, you're looking at where you are on the season. Uh, let's talk about injuries. We had uh, Jackson that went off the field Friday night and, uh, you right. know, something about his hip. Yeah, uh, Derek's got a, a mild hip pointer. Um, he's kind of a week-to-week -week now. Uh, hopefully, he'll, you know, he's walking on it and everything and moving around so it's not, not severe. Um, but, you know, we did take him and got an x-ray and everything just to be sure, want to make sure everything was all right, make sure he didn't, you know, damage anything in there. Um, you know, we'll evaluate him again next week to see if he can potentially go next Friday. Uh, luckily, we're off this week and get healed up a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, if he can go, obviously, we'll play him. Uh, if not, then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll move on to the next guy and get him, uh, you know, again, reevaluated the next week. Uh, EJ Holmes went out with a sprained ankle. He's the same boat as Derek. Uh, we'll look at him next week. Sometimes those ankle injuries take longer to recover. Uh, than others, so so we'll, hopefully he'll be back ready to go. But if not, we'll hold him out as well. And uh, Dre Bonner still nursing an ankle. He tried to go to practice yesterday, wow. uh, just not moving around real well. It's taken him a long time to recover from that. So those are our three main ones right now that I, I know of. Uh, Jesse Jones has a, a, a mild ankle sprain, but I think he's about ready to go. His wasn't too severe, uh, so it, his happened a couple weeks ago. Um, that's why he didn't play Friday. Uh, but I think he'll be back next week for sure. All right, Coach, we wish him the best. I mean, yeah. you got some, some key players there, obviously, and yeah. a couple on both sides of the ball for you. So right. that, that really adds up. But, fans, we got the week off this week. You go find a game somewhere if you so choose and enjoy some football. And we'll be back next week to see what it's like during an off week and, and what the coach is working on and also catch up on those injury reports. And look on to South Effingham. Yes, sir. Thanks for joining us right here on the Coaches Show. West Lawn's Rated Coaches Show brought to you in part by Dr. Jackson Fordham, DMD. Call for an appointment today. At Morris Bank, we understand that your personal finances and banking experiences can be stressful. We also know that it doesn't have to be that way. That's why for over 60 years, we've dedicated ourselves to providing common sense banking to people just like you. Even when I started working here, there was a definite vibe that you felt when you walked in the door from the music that you're always gonna hear playing to the hello, good to see you, welcome, how can we help you? You know, it's just a different experience when you bank here. We work hard to combine the latest online mobile technology and top-notch customer service that allows us to do just that. We realize our customers have choices, but what sets us apart is the personal service that we provide that they may not receive at larger institutions. We like to make you feel at home and we like to make the process as easy as possible when you're banking with us. But we're not focused on helping just our customers. We are equally dedicated to supporting the community we are a part of. Just this year alone, we've logged thousands of community service hours and provided significant financial support to the communities we serve. Something that sets us apart at Morris Bank is what we give back to the communities in which we serve. And as the communities continue to grow, that brings more business and more industry into the area. And it's just this circle effect of, of giving back and, and receiving what the community can offer. We want to make sure you have the best banking experience possible. Come see us or give us a call to find out what makes Morris Bank different because we're banking on you.